Hey everyone! Welcome to Databricks Data Engineer Associate Certification Exam Guide. This has been one of the most requested video after we launched our Udemy course. If you haven't checked our Udemy course yet, you can find the link in the description. Let us start with our agenda. We will start with the exam overview. We will then cover each and every topic of the exam in detail. Next, we will see how to prepare for the exam. At the end of the video, we will tell you how you can get your free exam voucher, which otherwise costs $200. So without any delay, let's start with the exam overview. The exam has 45 questions which needs to be answered in a maximum of 90 minutes. Which means you can spend around 2 minutes on each question. Each question is a multiple choice question and carry equal marks. One needs to score at least 70% marks to pass the exam. The questions in the exam are distributed into the following five sections. Databricks Lakehouse Platform. ELT with Spark SQL and Python. Incremental Data Processing. Production Pipelines. And Data Governance. Let's go over each section and discuss them in detail. Databricks Lakehouse Platform. This section involves questions about the usage and benefits of the Lakehouse platform, clusters, notebooks, Databricks architecture, Delta tables management and optimizations. You will get a mix of direct and scenario-based questions in this section. For example, you could be asked about the type of cluster that should be used based on the given scenario. You could also be asked some direct questions like choosing the correct magic command or some questions about the data plane and control plane. You can sign up for the Databricks Community Edition to get an overview of the Databricks clusters and notebooks. You can find all the links in the description box below. ELT with Spark SQL and Python. This section carries the maximum weightage. Most of the questions from this section are code-based questions, while some of them are scenario-based. For this section, you should focus on the following topics. Data objects or relational entities, which includes database, tables, and views. A little bit of Python, mainly focusing on the Python functions and the control flow. Different ways to pass data between PySpark and Spark SQL. ELT operations on Delta tables. Creation and usage of SQL UDFs. Incremental data processing. This section covers all the data processing techniques like autoloader, medallion or multi-hop architecture and delta live tables. You could also be asked questions about the applications and usage of structured streaming. Most of the questions in this section will be either code-based or scenario-based, with only two to three questions being direct. For example, you could be asked about the sources and targets of the bronze, silver and gold layers of the multi-hop architecture. In the code-based questions, you could be asked to choose the correct code block to perform hops between different layers. Production Pipelines This section mainly focuses on the workflows, SQL endpoints, and the dashboards. In this section you could be asked some performance-based questions. For example, what can be done if the queries are running slow due to the increase in number of users? To answer these types of questions, you should know the different types of options available while creating a SQL endpoint like cluster size, auto stop, and scaling. Next up, you can see some dashboard-specific questions which includes refreshing and alerting. For example, you could be asked how would an email alert can be sent to the team when the value of a column passes the threshold. This section has only seven questions, but they are little challenging if you have not used the Databricks orchestration and SQL endpoints. Also note, a SQL endpoint is now known as a SQL warehouse. Data governance. This is the easiest of all the sections. Most of the questions in this section are based on permissions. You could be asked to select the correct code block that can grant certain permission to a user or group of users. Or you could also be asked to select the code block that can revoke permissions from a user or a group. If you are aware of permissions granting and revoking, this would be an easy picker for the exam. 
A question or two from the Unity catalog can also be seen in this section. To answer these questions, you should know the basic uses and features of the Unity catalog. Clearing the Data Engineer Associate Certification Exam is simply a two-step process. First, go through the Databricks official video-based training which is available for free. This training course is a complete certification guide. The link to the notebooks used in this course is also attached in the description. Once you are through with the training course, you will need some real-time practice. For that purpose, you can check out this practice test course on Udemy. This practice test course has an in-depth description of each question. It also has quick revision notes PDF which comes in handy on the day of the exam. Here's a question from these practice exams. Pause the video to answer this question before we reveal the correct answer and its explanation. The correct answer is option D, the job cluster terminates when the job ends. Now, let's look at its explanation. These in-depth explanation to each question helps a lot in clearing the exam. All the links to the important resources are added to the description box below. Alternatively, you can connect with us on LinkedIn for the important announcements. As promised, we will now tell you how to get the exam voucher worth $200 for free, and that too officially from Databricks. Databricks provides certification exam preparation trainings from time to time. You just need to register for the training and all the details will be sent to your email. This is not a new thing as every upcoming company use these types of marketing strategies. The details for the upcoming trainings that include free voucher can be accessed from the description box below. Thank you for watching the video. And yes, keep practicing. Goodbye.